sometimes you have a quite good product made in China. For instance, this lantern consists of a beautiful made aluminum tube. Inside there is a holder for a 3 times AAA battery. There's a switch on the back side and there is a very fierce LED. Uh, but in general, though it is very, very well made, it will uh, malfunction often within one year or so. So what's the cause? And I made already more videos about this issue. But anyway, the video now is about how to repair such a uh, lantern. Uh, there's always, say in these cases, contact resistance and especially when we are talking about low voltages, say between 1.5 volt and 4.5 volt, contact resistance plays an enormous role in the maximum current that can flow. So here inside there was a cheap switch, that was the first thing. This is the type of switch that was used. Click one times it's on, click another times it's off. But of course inside here there were cheap materials that had contact resistance. So that was the first thing. And the next thing was the cheap switch. So the next thing was there was a spring here and a brass knob that pushed to the back side of the uh, battery unit and then it pushed again from the upper side to the back side of the LED unit. And that are all contact resistances and well, uh, that can give problems and especially on the somewhat longer term, say between one year or two years. So when a little bit moisture enters this whole unit, um, it can malfunction within a very short time. And there's another, another issue, sometimes or almost always, these chips are driven, sorry, this, these LEDs are driven via a chip. And you can see the chip, there's a kind of modulator inside. Uh, that say drives the chip as far as I can see uh, within a certain frequency to get the most amount of light out of it. But in fact, when we study this somewhat better, such a chip is not necessary. And here is the lens, and here are, by the way, better switches. This is not a good quality switch, and even these switches. This one is of course far too big, uh, but even these switches can work better compared to this switch. And of course I know that all was done to make in this part of the lantern an on-off switch, but anyway, and with on-off I mean click, uh, click on and click off. But anyway, such a switch, even such, such a switch is better. And what about the chip? The chip is often also not um, necessary. So that's all about in this video, repairing a, a 4.5 volt LED lantern in a simple way. Uh, I replaced the chip by a resistor of 10 ohms and 0.5 watt. It's immersed here under this tape. And the LED unit, the LED is of course on a heatsink. So that's here, you can surely see it, it's on a heatsink, a piece of aluminum. And with this simple repair, the whole thing works again. So that was all to tell. 
of course, when you are a little bit acquainted with electronics, contact resistances, contact resistance problems, you know this all, but perhaps it's interesting. So here's the switch that I mounted now. Switch the LED on, and we surely have enough light here via the 10 ohm resistor. And when the current is too high, you can go to say a 20 ohm resistor. That depends a little bit on um, the type of lantern. Here's that unit. And I'm going to mount it, of course, again back in this beautiful aluminum tube. Going to screw up this part and the lens, etc., etc. And well, that was all. And thanks for watching. Perhaps it's useful. And a uh, Throwing such a lantern away after one year or so due to these very common problems is, in my opinion, absolutely not necessary and a big pain and spillage of, say, valuable materials. Whatever that may be. Again, thanks for watching.